Pittsburgh, Malone, and Watertown. Knights in the home. Retro Whites win the faceoff up for Ambrosio, the penalty. And now a breakaway attempt here for the Griffins in on side. A chance, a shot, and it's a goal right off the faceoff. A nice move down the ice, and Gravel gets the goal. And the Knights up by three, suddenly up by two. And this is what I talked about. Canisius is a team that capitalizes on small mistakes and a great job off the faceoff win to break that one through, and Gravel does it himself. And the back pass for Gosson, wide of him, and out it comes for the Griffin's in onside right wing. One here by Ambrosio. Behind the net, pass in front for a shot and a goal! Pass in front, and it's a 3-2 game. Witkowski on a feed in front has cut the Clarkson lead 2-1. Griffin's right back in this game. Two straight goals. 12 to go on the power play. Now Rogner on the Clarkson goal. Alder to it. Tied up there by Clarkson's Jordan Power. To the line, Knights can't clear, pass across, and it's behind Mel Rogge. Oh, shoot, Master Donato, a shot, loose puck, and he goes in! A bouncing puck hit two players. Bounce to the left wing side, and the Knights, it won't be a power play goal, but it's a goal created by a power play. It's now a 3-3 contest, as knocking it in was Lee Lapide. And another tough break there for Ethan Hyder in net. It hit his own. The net. Stopped right wing side, Mel Rogney. Down the ice, they're in on sides, three on two. High slot, pass across for a shot and a goal! It's gonna be Miano on the goal, making it a 4-3 lead for Canisius. What a strange turn of events, and Canisius has their first lead of the game. One more chance for Mastodonado across for Decker. He's in on sides, one point by Cobbway. This game is going to be officially a tie.